Greetings! Welcome to Public Gaming Community. And we're here today. It's been a minute. I know I haven't posted anything last week because KOF, well, SNK announced that they will be postponing releasing KOF for 2022, quarter one. Well, that's unfortunate news, but I think it's good news. If they're going to make the game really great, optimize it, and just give us what we want, then hey, take your time. But don't take too long, because we've been waiting for a very long time now. Now, in other news, KOF has released a trailer, and it is Luang. Now, we got the silhouette before, and I swear I thought it was going to be Hanako, but it's Luang. How did I not see that coming? Well, let's go ahead and check out that trailer. Alright, so there goes the trailer. So first off, let's get, break down who this woman is. Luong, she is pretty much a flirtatious married woman. She's actually married to Gang Il, who's actually Kim's master. Both Luong and Gang Il first appearance were actually in KOF 14. She uses the, the same Taekwondo style that Gang Hill teaches to Kim. Even though she's married, she still kind of flirts a little bit with Kim while he has a whole wife and kids at home. She's for the streets. Luang is a streety. Anyway, how does she look? Huh, unfortunately, she does look the same, of course, with the Unreal Engine mechanic, so she looks great. I am digging her interaction with Shermie. I must say, SNK is really trying to gravitate to their pervy fans. And that ain't me. Her design, again, just looks the same. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that they didn't doll her up a little more or something. Give her a mix of her costume from SNK Heroines. I mean, they had so many options here. I just don't really know why they chose this one. And it looks like she does have a new move. And oh my goodness. Can we talk Street Fighter reference? This move is definitely similar to Karin. I believe this is her quarter circle forward or half circle, um, half circle back kick. And something that's really exciting from this trailer and probably the only thing worth grabbing is that they did change Luang a little bit. Little, it looks like she has that new move and she also has a stance change. Oh my God, this is gonna be crazy. I will admit I was happy to see her make her return, but this stance change is a game changer. Oh, it's a game changer. So I'm curious to see if she gets some new moves, counters, all kinds of stuff. Because you know they they probably didn't show us everything. They they couldn't have. So here we go. Who's next? Now I really don't know what this means. Cause Luang, she's a little tricky. Her being so mysterious and just flirtatious and all those good traits, I must say, she could easily be on a team with Mary and, and Vanessa wrapping up some female agent team because little is known about Luan. But I honestly can't tell you who's next. Ah oh, man, here we are again with another situation. So many teams just missing out there. Where's, where's Kay's trailer? Kay's been just sitting, just sitting there all this time. 
Where is this trailer? I'm ready to see him. I'm ready to see Kula and friends. Overall, I must say the trailer, it's okay. I mean, it's nice that they added some moves to her because they couldn't really just remodel her and just put her in the game and, and tell us, yeah, she's awesome. Evo is approaching. I wonder, will we get a bigger trailer during Evo? Will we get some, some gameplay? Will we get a beta? Will we get a beta? Even though they've pushed a date back, I mean, come on, look at Guilty Gear Strive. I mean, they literally continue to communicate with us, they worked with us, they continue to talk to us, hey, you guys like this, you guys don't like this, we're gonna change that, we're not changing that, you can suck our dick on that. You know, they did a lot. They did a really, they did a really good job with their communication. So KOF, can we learn something? You guys literally have a partnership with them. Samurai Showdown is going to have a Guilty Gear Strive character. And vice versa, I believe. It would only make sense. Well, that's all I got for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Share your thoughts. How do you feel? Do you like Luong's trailer? Do you wish that it was someone else like Hanako? Are you really tired of these trailers just showing us gameplay of just pretty people and not really giving us much substance. Alright, sign it off.